so welcome back uh, after a long time i am again doing video because many people they are asking i mean in different ways they are asking either in linkedin or youtube they are asking they are able to see agent force for developer icon in their vs code here you can see the icon here uh, you can see my mouse but it is not working in their developer app in the developer app they are not able to do it the main or or they are able to see this message you could not access to agent force for developer open any issue and we will get you help needed something like that or below this here also there is icon saying that no agent force for developer permission in default or this is because most probably you are using a older version of your developer app that's why this permission is not there so what first thing you have to do is first thing create a new sales force app or create a new developer app okay either through trailhead or from the developer dot uh, dot com create a new sales force developer account or org then go to setup then please check here by default it is enabled or not in the quick find box search agent force for developer agent force for developer this option and here you see okay, by default it is enabled now it will switch on it will become disable so don't disable it it should be enabled it should be in this position only but in the old developer arc you will not see this option at all that's why you are not able to do it in your vs code now i believe you understand the problem now let's see connecting this arc with vs code whether it is working or not okay now <clears throat> i have already uh, created a project uh, so let's uh, go there uh, okay this is the project and uh, this is the project i already created the project uh, and uh, now what we'll do we'll authorize and see okay and you see here uh, this icon is there but again you'll see the same message because we have not yet connected okay so we'll take some time okay now you see uh, it's saying that connect your cell phone we'll come here okay first what we'll do we have created the project let's authorize it so to authorize it uh, you have to click on control shift and p then you say uh a p h o authorize type authorize you see here this option authorize an arc just click on that then uh, because it is a developer of this login.selfsource.com is fine then uh, give a you know alias name any name you can give i have given youtube yes uh, okay now press enter okay now give the username and password okay when you see this access request click on allow Once you see this authentication successful message, now move back to your VS Code, and you will also see a pop-up message here: authorization arc successfully run. Okay, so authorization is done. Now again go back to uh, this agent, Salesforce uh, agent force. You see now that option connect to the org option is gone. Okay, because we authorize it, so it also get the authorization access automatically. Okay, now try something and see. Let's say, uh, okay, uh, I will do one thing. I'll say that okay, uh, create a uh, 
prepare structure for account object let's present it okay now copy this copy this piece of code then go to your uh, success uh, file then here uh, in course of you'll see many things over here uh, right now go to the trigger right click and you say create an apex trigger so while you do that you can say that okay it's a account account trigger okay presenter just accept uh, whatever the folder it is asking for and you see the count trigger is created now you copy paste the code which was generated by your agent force here okay now if the file name is matching then you just remove that automated created code from the above okay now you see your uh, account trigger is ready okay it is saying that okay you have to use the event variable like insert update uh, before uh, first first uh, if you are aware about the trigger you are you will be knowing that we have before and after first you see the before then you see the after okay uh, let's see <clears throat> after and one difference you can see here see you see after on delete is there but before delete is there not after delete your cell phone knows that okay generally uh, for on delete case we do after on delete not before on delete in case of delete we do before delete not after delete because that option is that context variable is not there so that's how it has created okay now all the things are here present okay is before is in short is before is of that everything is there okay now tomorrow we will learn again little bit how to uh, you know create this handler class and all using agent force but those who are learning new uh, or are learning new programming like uh, might be you are working in salesforce admin side before now you are learning salesforce apex programming this session will be helpful for you each day i am going to do one demo every day one demo if you do yourself also every day one demo you become a good developer no doubt right now you might have hear about you know um, lnt chairman said that okay we are not getting skilled worker or uh, enough worker to do or enough engineer to do our work so we have to prepare ourselves for the future opportunity every day i am going to demonstrate one example so if i will do it for you know at least 10 days you will learn the entire thing not only trigger you will also learn the apex classes and all those things and while doing that in this generative world i will always try to leverage this agent force to generate the code then uh, then working on that okay so it will help you also while you do you can leverage agent force as much as possible in your real world example in your project thank you so much uh, if you like this video please uh, uh, share with your friends so that they can also learn okay uh, give a thumbs up okay and also any feedback anything you put a comment on that i will try to respond to that subscribe to this channel have a great day thank you